Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Damien episode number eight. Here is wisdom. In this episode here, you have a whole lot of things going on, just like always. This ep- this show is not it's, it's just as crazy as any other episode. You have Damien trying to deal with who he is and to try to decide what should he do. Because he he's trying to figure out if he does, if he do the, the wrong thing, bad things going to happen, of course. But even when he does the right thing, bad things still happen. Like he can't escape it. That's why he tried to kill himself. And now he's trying to deal with the after effects of that. He's seeing a psychiatrist now, trying to get some help, trying to get an understanding of who he is, what his place is in the world, and what decision he should make. You also have Ann Rutledge who's still doing her thing, trying to manipulate Damien to be on her side to, when, the, when Armageddon comes. So she wants to be by the side of Damien when Armageddon comes, so she'd be ready for the devil. And you have, um, you have Simone, she's working with Sister Greta, um, with Sister Greta, who's been sent to, um, to watch and observe Damien to find out if he is the Antichrist, but she has other plans and an agenda of her own. And now Simone's involved with this too. And then you have Amani, Damien's friend, loyal like a brother, kind of almost like a disciple, pretty much. He's trying to make up to Damien for what he did and his part that he had to play in this whole Ann Rutledge thing. Because he found out that he was dating Ann Rutledge's daughter and she was using him to get information to try to get closer to Damien. Yeah. And like always, people die. Yeah, it, they, they die. Okay. First off, the acting performances on, on this show are amazing. I'm liking Bradley James' performance as Damien. Watching him struggle to try to figure out, to try to figure out who he is and what decision he should make is almost pretty much driving him crazy. And watching him struggle like this, you actually kind of feel for him, even though you know his father is the is Satan. So it's like you're rooting for him to do the right thing, but you know it's going to end badly for him too. And um, Barbara Hershey as Ann Rutledge, she is a gift. Oh my God, every scene she's in, I love it. Even though she's creepy and a psychopath, I love her performance in, on the show. I, I really do. And she she never um gives a bad performance. Every performance she's every scene she's in is always a thumbs up for me. She keeps she creeps me out though. Makes me a little skeevy in my skin. But still nonetheless, I'm enjoying it. I also enjoy the new guy on the show. Um Joe Doyle play um Charles Powell. And Charles is obsessed with Damien, and he pretty much will do anything, and I mean anything, to make sure, to get Damien to love him. That's all he wants. If he has to kill to get Damien to love him, if he has to chop out a man's tongue to get Damien to love him, that's what he'll do. And he thinks he's doing it for the good of Damien, and that's what Damien wants him to do. That's how crazy and psycho he is. Oh my gosh. And he has, he has not only was he a psycho, we also had the, the psychiatrist, Dr. Matthews, played by um, Claire Rankin, also a psycho, and I enjoyed her performance too because she fooled me. Now, the first time I saw her, Damien talking to her as a psychiatrist, talking to his psychiatrist, um, Dr. Matthews, I thought she might be one of the good guys for a moment. At first, I was, I was thinking... Maybe she, I think she's bad too. She's probably bad too. She, she can't be good. But then after a while, I started to believe, okay, maybe she might be good. Maybe she might be the person who can help Damien find his way. Well, that was wrong. Holy crap. Oh, wow. You know, that's saying the pen is mighter than, is mighter than the sword. Well, you should watch this episode right here because, wow. Holy crap. Crap. This show is crazy. This show is dark. This show is twisted. But it's very interesting and very entertaining, and I'm enjoying it. <sighs> Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Damien. And do you have any thoughts or theories about where this where the show is gonna go? Leave your comments down below. 
because I started thinking that what would happen if Damien just fully embraced who he is? Because right now he's struggling. He's straddling the fence. Now, there are times when you see the darkness in him starting to emerge, and then he suppresses it. And then there's other times he kind of run away from it. So it's like, what will happen? Because I don't know if Damien has powers or not. Because it seems to be, it seems like he affects certain people. Now, I, I don't think he's doing this intentionally or if he, if he is doing intentionally, maybe as kind of on a sub subconscious level, he's doing this because certain people around him seem to be like like I like seem to like fall for him hard. I don't know if it, if if he's doing it or if it's, it's, the, it's the, the his father, the devil, who's influencing these people, or it's something some kind of power that Damien has he's not aware of because it doesn't affect everybody. Like certain people. It must be like wounded some some type of way, mentally or emotionally, some type of way, but leave them vulnerable. So when they, so when Damien is around them, it it, it, it awakens some type of inner darkness inside of them, and, and they just want to do whatever they think will make Damien happy. Like this guy, you have um Charles Paul, who's killing people because he thinks that's what Damien wants him to do. Then you have this old woman who's in a, who's in a chair, hasn't spoken in years. Well, as soon as she sees Damien, she starts spouting prophecies left and right. I just, oh, okay. You had a guy who met Damien in, in, at, at the police Princeton, started stabbing himself in the penis because for some reason Damien is there, so he had to do that. This show really gets in your head. Holy crap. So I'm, so I'm thinking, this is what's happening around him by mistake, not, not on purpose. So imagine if he actually just embraced who he is, could he actually influence people to do whatever he wants them to do? And Because if that's the case, he is the most scariest person on the planet. Holy crap. Well, that's all I got to say about that. I'm enjoying the show. I'm having a whole lot of fun watching it. And if you haven't been watching Damien, I said check it out for yourself. Hopefully you will enjoy this as much as I did. And just give my channel a big old like if it thumbs up. Boom. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.